We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. Hallelujah for all you have done for us. Hallelujah, we are grateful, oh Lord. Everlasting Father. Immortal, invisible God, the I am that I am, the mighty man of war. Father, we are grateful this morning. We appreciate you. We exalt your holy name for all that you have been doing for us. Father, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we appreciate you for your covenant of life, for your goodness, for your kindness, for your mercy. For every Father, we say, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we lay our lives at your feet, O Lord. We know we are sinners. We have sinned against you. We have come to stop your glory. We ask for mercy this morning, O Lord. Father, wash us clean with your blood and create in us the art to sin no more. Power to walk in obedience in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your power, we take authority over every gangrene, over every plans, over every conspiracy of the wicked. We set them on fire and we trample upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemies are desiring their heart, whatever their expectations may be, Father, this morning, Lord, Lord, we scatter them by the authority of your word in the name of Jesus. We cover ourselves, we cover our families, we cover our homes with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. We pray for our children, O Lord. Let their lives, O God, be a life, O God, in Christ Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Their lives, O God, shall not be swallowed up by the worldliness of this end time in the name of Jesus. Father, I surrender myself before you. Anything in me, Lord, that you have not planted, anything in me that will make the enemies to prevail, Father, let the power in your blood flush them out of my life in the name of Jesus. And let the Holy Spirit of God fill me afresh, break me down, remold me, and make me, Lord, a vessel unto honor, fit for the master's use, to depopulate the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. Father, by this teaching today, O Lord, let the captives be set free. Let the lame walk. Let the blind see. Above all, let all of us, O God, be on the right path to eternity in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Beloved, I welcome you to this wonderful time in His presence. Anytime you come into the presence of God, be rest assured that God is there and is listening to your cry. And every request you are going to make today, heaven will over in the mighty name of Jesus. Very briefly this morning, the Lord has given us another world to talk about, and which is the benefits of studying the Bible. The benefits of studying the Bible. I want you to open the Bible. I want you to open your Bible to Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. The benefit of studying the Bible. Why do we need to study the Bible? Is the Bible important to a Christian life? Then if the Bible is important, what are the benefits of studying this Bible? What do we stand to gain by spending time studying this Bible? The Lord will open our understanding today as we listen to this teaching in the name of Jesus. I come against every bind and selling spirit. I bind and I cast them out of our minds in the name of Jesus. Every distracting powers, wherever they are right now, Holy Ghost sets them on fire. Any power assigned to cause disruption to this broadcast, Father, let them be arrested and let them be bound right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have prayed the benefit of studying the Bible. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, the Bible says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. A commandment that we should meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Praise the Lord. Open your Bible again to 2 Timothy. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. 2 Timothy chapter 2. 
Let's read verse 15. We are looking at the benefit of studying the Bible. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. The Bible says, study to show thyself. We need to study to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We need the Bible to be approved of God. Anyone that called himself or herself a believer, for you to have that approval mark of believership, you must study the Bible and let the Bible be your life. You are not yet a Christian. I am not yet a Christian if I don't have the Bible in my life. The Bible is what qualifies you to be a Christian. Because it is the word of God that is inside of you that you are obeying that will make people to see your external characters that will now, they will now say, yes, there is something in this life that looks like Christ. Praise the Lord. In 2 Timothy again, chapter 3, let's look at verse 16. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Let's see what the Bible says. Talking about the scriptures, talking about the Bible. The Bible says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. So for you and I to get inspiration from the Lord, we must study the Bible. It is through the Bible that we get spiritual inspiration. The more of the Bible in your life, the more you get inspired spiritually. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. The Bible is the book of correction. The Bible is the book of doctrine. The Bible is the book of reproof. It is in the Bible that you find how to live a godly life. It is in the Bible that you find how to please God. It is in the Bible that you find how to obtain spiritual power. Praise the Lord. Note one thing, beloved. The devil will not allow you to study the Bible. Why? Because the shame of the devil, the defeat of the devil, and the doom of the devil, they are in the Bible. So Satan will not allow you to uncover his nakedness. That's why anytime you want to study the Bible, something will make sure that you don't study it. Anytime you want to study the Bible, that's when you remember there is a food on the fire. Anytime you want to study the Bible, that's when you remember that you have to return a call back. The devil is very crafty. He will not allow believers to study the Bible. So many of us, we lie to pray. We can pray for money tonight. But when it comes to Bible study, the devil will make sure that he takes our attention away from studying the Bible. I want you to pray that any plan of the devil to distract me from studying the Bible, plans of the wicked to distract my family, you pray for yourself. Today is the day to pray even for our children. Beloved, why are we having such a corrupt environment or a corrupt society? It's because the Bible is missing in the home. And when the home is built on a foundation without the Bible, it gives rise to a community of corrupt people. Children raised in a home where the Bible is not their foundation, they go out there to become children that will destroy the community. The reason why we are seeing so many kinds of immoral and dangerous art is because the Bible is missing in the homes. That's why I want you to pray. Say, plans of the devil to take my heart away from the Bible. 
plans of the devil to take the heart of my children away from the Bible fail woefully in the name of Jesus. Plans of the devil to take my heart away from the Bible, to take the heart of my children, to take the heart of my wife away from the Bible. I command you to fail in the name of Jesus. Fail, 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 fail. I command you to fail. I command you to fail in Jesus' name. It is done, beloved. It is in the Bible that you learn how to pray. It is in the Bible. If you want to know how to pray, you will find it in the Bible. It is in the Bible that you understand how to fight spiritual warfare. People are telling you, oh, this is how to cast out demons. This, that, and that. If you really want to cast out demons, if you really want to pray and for your prayer to be effective, you study the Bible. Study how people of old, how they use the Bible to cast out the devil and to have victory when they fight spiritual warfare. I pray for you this hour. That the power to embrace the Bible always, the power to walk according to the Bible, receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, it is said to you, what are the benefits of studying the Bible? Number one, to know God. There is no way you can know God without studying the Bible. It is through the Bible that God will give you inspiration into who he is. Number two, what are the benefits of the Bible? Is to build our faith. It is in the Bible that your faith gets built up. Romans chapter 10. Let's open it. Romans chapter 10. Let's do the Bible study, verse 17. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. For the Bible says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the law. It is by studying the Bible that your faith gets built up. What are the benefits of studying the Bible? For direction, spiritual direction. When you are confused physically and spiritually, the only solution or the only compass that will put you right is the Bible. What are the benefits of the Bible? For spiritual understanding. You cannot understand mysteries of life if you don't study the Bible. It is in the Bible that you get spiritual understanding. It is in the Bible that you know how to please God. You know what God likes and how to walk in the ways that please the Lord. What are the benefits of the Bible? It is in the Bible that you know the mind of God towards you and what the Lord created you to be. It is in the Bible that you get the hand from heaven that will draw you closer to him. It is in the Bible that you know how to unlock the doors that the enemies have shut against you. The Bible is a book of wisdom. It is in the Bible that you get spiritual and physical wisdom. The Bible is a book of power. It is in the Bible that you can uncover the diverse kinds of weapons of warfare that you can use to trample and to scatter the enemies. It is in the Bible, or it is the Bible that exposes the secrets of enemies and even deep secrets about yourself. Next. It is in the Bible that we find the reward for obedience. It is in the Bible that we find the dooms for sinners. Praise the Lord. The level of your spiritual maturity is proportional to your understanding of the Bible. As a matter of fact, you can read the Bible and you may not understand the Bible. You can be a pastor and read the Bible to preach but you may not still understand the Bible. You might be a chorister. You might be a leader. You might be a Levite. Still, you may still not understand the Bible. The Bible is a spiritual book that the understanding is given to those that are spiritually minded. I pray this hour 
that the Lord will open our inner heart to receive understanding from above of the Bible in the name of Jesus. You will understand the Bible. The Lord will make you to understand the Bible in the name of Jesus. The Bible will not become strange to you, but you will understand the Bible in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So if you are not spiritual, there is no way you can understand the Bible. People read Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. They have no understanding. They just recite it. They don't, they, they don't know the meaning. But if you are spiritually inclined, you will know the meaning from this first word. I pray that the Lord will give you divine understanding of the Bible in the name of Jesus. The Bible. It is in the Bible that we get understanding of how to change situations. It is in the Bible that we get understanding of what goes on in the realm of the Spirit. The Bible is a book of power. It is in the Bible that we get the agenda of God for this world. It is in the Bible that we know how the world was formed and what will become of the world at the end of age. It is in the Bible that we get the understanding of the end time. So if you are caught unaware, or if you are caught, you cannot blame God because we have the Bible. Praise the Lord. Then what are those things that are making believers not to study the Bible? Number one is the devil. The devil knows the power in the Bible. And the devil knows that the only weapon that can render him powerless is the authority of the Bible. That's why when you pray, say, it is written, he that diggeth a pit shall fall again, therefore any power, digging pit for my life, let them fall again. The devil knows that there is authority in the Bible and he will not allow the believers to study. And because the devil knows, he has deployed so many devices, tricks, plans, strategies to make sure that man or believers don't study the Bible. Number one of those tricks and strategies. Number one, busy physical schedule. Every day, devil makes sure that we are so busy with our physical things and making sure that we forget to open the Bible. We forget to open the Bible. Number two, the lust of the flesh. Oh, I want to eat. Anytime you want to study the Bible, the devil will create demonic hunger and appetite for you that will make you to leave the Bible on the table and go straight to the kitchen. Next is demonic friends. There are some friends that anytime you are about to study the Bible, devil will engineer them or devil will, ra will raise them up to give you a call. And they will call you, they will engage you for hours thereby making you not to study the Bible. Beloved, the more of the Bible in your life, the more powerful you become. The more of the Bible in your life and the more understanding of the Bible you have, the greater your access to the throne of God. What are the traits of this devil? Is the family. The devil will make the family to be so busy doing all kinds of things that they will forget morning devotion. Even when they pray, they cannot even read the Bible. Next, is our job. The devil makes sure that he's making sure that people get engaged in work and they forget to study the Bible. Next is the social media. The social media we are with, that we are on now. People are so much entangled. The devil has entangled so many people. With the social media, as soon as they leave a platform, they go on another one, they check, they check, they check, they search all the news, even the relevant and the relevant ones, and they waste, they will make sure that their lives are wasted without studying the Bible. Remember, try this. Pick the Bible. Within the first five minutes you're about to study the Bible, something will minister distraction to you. It tells you that there is power. The devil will not allow you to gain power over him. But anytime you turn your TV on and you're about to watch a soap 
or another program that you like. The first one hour, you will never feel tired. You'll be feeling cold and you'll be laughing. But the Bible, the devil will not allow you to laugh while reading the Bible. Hear this fact. You may study the Bible. But if you don't understand the Bible, the Bible cannot work for you. You can study it. When you study the Bible and you don't understand it, it becomes like ordinary book. You can study it. But if you don't have understanding, the Bible becomes like ordinary book. And that is where the believers of this age are missing it. They go to church, they read the Bible, but they don't understand the Bible. And understanding, reading and understanding the Bible without you acting upon what the Bible says is of no use. So for, the, for you to have the full benefit of the Bible, for you and I to have the full benefit of the power in the Bible and of the mysteries in the Bible, we must study the Bible, understand the Bible, and act according to the biblical instructions. That is then that we can start flourishing in the promises and the benefit of the Bible. When the Lord says, I will bless you, there are conditions attached to the blessings. Not that you just be confessing the blessings. Oh, Abraham blessings. You have been confessing Abraham blessings and mine from the day that you were born. But are you nearer or are you very close to the blessings of Abraham? Are you doing what the Bible says that Abraham did? We are praying for power. Oh Lord, give me power. Give me power. Give me power. Give me power. Are you doing what the apostles did? That made power to come upon them. So reading the Bible is not enough. Understanding it is not enough. The three works together. You must read the Bible, understand the Bible, and act according to biblical instructions. Are you here today? Do you want to enjoy the benefit of the Bible? The Bible is a book of power. If you can swallow the Bible, if you can read the Bible, if you have understanding of the Bible, and if you walk according to the Bible, which is the word of God, nothing can move you. The enemies will come. When they come like a flood, the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against them. That means when the enemies are coming against you because you are loaded with God in your life, God begins to walk mysteriously in your life. I want you to lift up your voice this morning and pray. Against distractions in life. Beloved, you need to have control of your life. So that you don't become spiritual casualty in the field of life. Say, oh Lord my Father, plant the love of the Bible in me. Oh Lord God my Father, plant the love of the Bible in me. My Father, my Father, my Father. Plant the love of the Bible in me. Ask God to plant the love of the Bible in you. Oh Lord God, my Father, plant your love, the love of the Bible in my life. In that name of Jesus, plant the love of the Bible in me. In Jesus' name we have prayed. You will need to pray for your children. Today is the day to pray for the children. Beloved, train your children the way of the law. When they grow up, they will not bring troubles to your life. But when you are just leading them to pray without the scripture, how would they stand in the days of challenges? Let them know that there is God and there is power of God and they can only know more of God through the Bible. Share the Bible with them. Send them scriptures. Text them scriptures. Let them know that there is God and the power of God is the only power above all situations. Remember, it is through the Bible that you can get doctrine. A way of life that is right before God. Pray the second prayer like this. Say, agenda of the devil to steal the soul of my children. Agenda of the devil to steal the soul of my children. Catch fire. Catch fire. Every agenda of the devil to steal the souls of my children. I command you to catch fire. I command you to catch fire. I command you to catch fire. Agenda of the devil to steal the souls of my children. I say catch fire. I say catch fire. I say catch fire. I say catch fire. In Jesus' name, it is just a power of God. Envelope my life and my children. Power of God. Power, 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 
power of the Most High God, envelope my life, envelope my children's life. In the name of the power of God, envelope my life, envelope my children's life, envelope my home, envelope me. Power of God, envelope me, envelope me, envelope my children, envelope my family. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praising the word of God. Locate my children and transform their lives. Word of God. Beloved, there is word of God that can change stories. That can change the worst of the sinners. That can change evil behaviors. Say, word of God. Locate my children and change their lives. In the name of Jesus. Word of the living God. Locate my children and change their lives. Word of God. Word of God. Word of God. Locate my children and change their lives. 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 lives. In Jesus' name, we are praying with the power of the Bible that you have received. With that power, you pray these few dangerous prayers. You will raise up your right hand to God in heaven and you will shout this loud and clear. Bible says, Thou shalt decree it and it shall be established. You and I shall speak a word and it shall come to pass. You will raise your right hand to God in heaven and shout like this. Say, Conspiracy of darkness. In the heavenlies to take away my salvation, conspiracy of darkness in the heavenlies to take away my salvation. You are a liar, scatter, 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 conspiracy of darkness in the heavenlies to steal my salvation, to destroy my salvation. Ah, wherever you are, scatter, 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 scatter. In Jesus' name, it is done with your right hand still raised up to God in heaven. You will cry like this, say, word of God, become sword in my mouth. Word of God, become sword in my mouth. Oh Lord, my Father, let your word become sword in my mouth. Let your word become sword in the mouth of my children. Word of God, become sword in my mouth. Become sword in my mouth. Become sword in my mouth. Become sword in the mouth of my children. Become sword in the mouth of my wife. Become sword in the mouth of every soul here this morning. Become sword in our mouth. Become sword in our mouth. Become sword in our mouth. In Jesus' name, it is done. With the power of the word of God in you, you will now pray like this. Say, destroyers of lives, destroyers of lives, wherever you are, I am not your candidate. Da, 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 destroyers of life. Wherever you are, I am my family, and we are not your candidate. Therefore, da, 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 command them to die. Destroyers of life, destroyers of good things, destroyers of glory. I am my family, and not your candidate. Wherever you are, da, 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 in Jesus' name. They are there. You will pray again by the power of God in the Bible. Say, oh God, my father, by your word in the Bible, expose all masquerading enemies around me. Oh Lord God, my father, by the power, by your power in the Bible, expose all masquerading enemies around me. Expose them, oh Lord. Expose them, oh Lord. Expose them, oh Lord. By your power, by your authority in the Bible, expose all the masquerading enemies around me. Oh Lord, expose them. 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 In Jesus' name, it is done. You pray the last one with anger. Say, wicked elders, wicked elders, wicked elders, summoning my name in their coven in order to sacrifice me to their idols. Wicked elders, summoning my name in their coven in order to sacrifice me to their idols. You are a liar. Die. There are every wicked elders in my father's house, wicked elders in my mother's house, wicked elders in my in-laws house, calling my name, calling my children's name, my wife's name, in their coven, in order to sacrifice us. You are a liar. Da, da, by fire, da, by fire, da, by thunder, da, 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 command them to die. Wicked elders, summoning your name in their coven to sacrifice you, command them to die. They must die.
Rakasadababa. The man the rebo rima can send the rebo. Command them to die. They must die. They must die. They must die. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. They must die. They must die. They must die. They must die. In Jesus' name, they are dead. Father, we thank you because of your word today. We thank you, Lord, because you have given us understanding about the benefit of the Bible. Father, we decree by the decree of heaven that from today you will shine your light upon our homes, upon our children, upon our husbands and our wives, and they shall embrace the Bible from now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that the anointing to study the Bible, anointing to understand, and anointing to obey, let it fall upon us in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that let the power in the Bible work for us, work for us. Physically, let it work for us. Spiritually, let it work for us. In every area of our lives, let the power in the Bible work for us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Beloved, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for your time in His presence. God has given you a gift that money cannot buy. He has given you this power this morning. And I pray that the power of God in your life will work wonders for you. As you study the Bible daily and as you meditate on the Bible, may you begin to receive divine inspiration from above in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, it is said to you. Beloved, please endeavor to open your Bible daily. If it's Psalm 23, you want to start reading, start reading it over and over again. Through the Psalm 23, you will progress to Psalm 24. From there, you go to 25. But learn to study it daily. The more of the study you are doing, you will see things changing your life. You will see yourself operating in a new way that you yourself, you know, that power has surely changed hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't forget, we meet every day, 9 a.m. in the morning for the hour of prayer. Tomorrow is another time in his presence. Tomorrow is Thursday. It's another time that you cannot afford to miss. Please endeavor to share this gospel with your friends. Endeavor to share the gospel with your loved ones. Endeavor, beloved, to even pray the prayers yourself. You are a symbol of excellence. People around you must see the glory of God in your life. And as you do so, as you share the gospel, may you flourish and may your life excel excellently in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace in fellowship, sons and daughters of the Most High God. Let's go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven wonderful hallelujah to the most high God. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you as you mount up with wings like the eagle and as you rise and shine. You will not fall. The arrows of the wicked will not locate your eagle. As your eagle is flying day and night, as your children are mounting up with wings like the eagle day and night, the wicked ones will not shoot at them. The bullet of the wicked will not locate them. Your children, they will be great in life. They will be a symbol of prosperity. They will prosper. Every good thing they are doing in their chosen careers, they will excel in the name of Jesus. I cover them all with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, it is said. Till we meet tomorrow, keep sharing the good news and tell your neighbors that Jesus is Lord. I've prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.